What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Rays. The film After took fans by storm, quickly becoming one of the highest grossing romantic films of 2019 and setting a new precedent for what viewers should expect from an action packed romantic drama. The film has one of the deepest and most enticing plots of any romance film released in recent years and managed to gross nearly 70 million at the box office. While the film was somewhat disappointing to many critics, it has developed a strong cult following, with fans demanding more from the franchise. The original film was based on a fan fiction novel involving Harry Styles that was written by Anna Todd. The second film aims to continue the story of Tessa and Harden, played by Josephine Langford and Hero Finus. Our favorite characters are set to return to the big screen sometime this year, with filming having already been concluded in September of 2019. There have been countless rumors about the film in recent months, and many fans are now anticipating the show to release in 2020. Uh, uh, excuse me? Uh, I, th I think that you're in the wrong room. Due to the pandemic that swept across the country in early 2020, the release of After We Collided was forcibly postponed. We initially expected a release date sometime this summer, but it has recently been revealed that this will not be happening. However, the After We Collided social media pages have been flooded with new photos and still images from the filming of the movie. These images have been gradually uploaded over the last few weeks, with fans getting increasingly excited about a new announcement. This announcement finally came on July 15th when Anna Todd announced that the film will finally be released in early September. Well, sort of. She posted that the film will be released in early September for many parts of the world, but the United States and United Kingdom release date has not yet been announced. What we also do not know is if the film will be released directly to video or if it will be playing in select theaters across the world. Due to the continued worsening of the pandemic, we feel confident that the film will be directly released to home video or made available on streaming services for an additional fee. Though it's still possible that the production company may decide to release the film in theaters, we simply have to wait and see. Anna Todd expects to announce release dates for various other countries very soon, but these dates have not yet been determined. However, it seems safe to assume that we will likely see a release date worldwide within the first couple weeks of September. We are anxious to see how this potentially limited release will affect the sales number for the film. The first film had a massive turnout at the box office and almost instantly made everyone involved with the film millionaires. Though, since the theater release will almost certainly be impossible for the new film, this could pose disaster for the wallets of the writers and production staff. We certainly hope that this isn't the case and that fans will be more than willing to watch the film from the comfort of their own homes. Sneak peeks have been leaking consistently for the film since mid-2019, with several of these teasers being posted to the After Spoiler Instagram page. This page hosts many behind-the-scenes looks at the creation of the film, and even features footage and photos of some of our favorite actors and actresses. Before the announcement of the film back in May of 2019, fans were eagerly waiting to see if the series would be renewed for an additional installment, or shelved with many other romance films over the years. However, the president of Voltage Pictures stated shortly after the release of the film, we've already seen what this magic mix of compelling narrative, extremely hardworking talent, and insatiable fans can do at the box office of After. We can't wait to get back to work on the second. Fans have clung to every word of the statement, with Amanda Todd later sharing a shocking photo on Twitter that included even more details about the film. Her photo showed her original book, titled After We Collided, sitting atop a stack of papers. A closer look reveals that the papers are the script for the upcoming film. Much like the first film, Amanda Todd is credited as the lead writer, with Mario Celaya also being credited for his writing and production efforts. The script has been completed since April of 2019. This is a bit surprising because this means that the script was completed within just 12 days of the original film premiering at the theaters across the country. The production studio wasted no time getting started on the sequel, and this is backed by the fact that the film had concluded by September of the same year. Several of the stars posted to the After's Movie's official Instagram page, with the caption stating that the filming had already concluded. The post ended stating, Thank you all for getting us here and supporting and loving this franchise. It's all because of you. Around this same time, 
Dylan Sprouse posted to his personal social media account with a video of him explaining that the film was officially complete, and he revealed that he would be playing Trevor. In the video, he says, Congrats to the aftercast and crew for wrapping the shoot. Bringing Trevor to live on screen was a joy, even if I look angry here. Excited for you all to see the work we did and check the film when it's released at some secret time in some secret future. He later added, I cannot wait to bring Trevor to life for you, and I'm excited for you all to see the finished content. I've read hundreds of novels in my life, most of them claiming that love was the center of the universe. Around the time that the script was revealed, Miss Todd spoke with a news outlet to confirm that she had been hard at work on the upcoming film script, stating that she had been working with a mystery collaborator to write the screenplay. This mystery man was confirmed later on to be Mario Salaya. Quite an exciting reveal indeed. Mario is bound to do great things for the film, and it's great to see that he's working alongside Anna to bring the film to life. The original film screenplay was written by Susan McMartin, Tamara Chest, and Jenny Cage. Anna was mysteriously excluded from the writing of the original film, even though she authored the book that it was based on. It's possible that she was omitted from the writing crew because she had no first-hand experience writing for a major motion picture, but it's great to see that she now has been included on the team so that she can ensure the film and its love scenes are accurately depicted in the way that she originally envisioned them. While the first film was a masterpiece in its regard, we can't wait to see what Anna can bring to the sequel. The new film concludes the plot of the original, taking place just a short while after the first film. The story of the After We Collided book is expected to remain largely intact for this film, so if the book's synopsis is anything to go by, we can expect to see Tessa and Hardin's relationship grow even stronger. When they first met and became involved with one another, things were a bit rocky for a while. Tessa was a girl with a well-established life who had everything to lose. Hardin, on the other hand, had nothing and no one and was looking for adventure. In this film, we can expect to see Tessa and Hardin continue to work on their relationship, but Tessa is likely to learn some shocking details of Hardin's mysterious past. These revelations send Tessa into a downward spiral as she begins to question all that she knows about him. She wants to believe that he is the one for her, but a new perspective drastically shifts the way she sees him. Is it possible that he truly has feelings for her, or has this all been a facade? Hardin and Tessa will have numerous obstacles to overcome in the film, and we can't wait to see how things pan out for the young couple. As far as character reprisals, there have only been a few cast members that are confirmed to appear in this new installment. Hero and Josephine will be appearing, as well as Dylan Sprouse. However, Candace King is set to play a role in the movie, taking on the role of Kimberly Vance. She will co-star with Charlie Weber, who is expected to be playing Christian Vance. The roles of Ken and Scott have shockingly changed in this new film, with Peter Gallagher and Jennifer Beals being nowhere to be found on the cast roster. Instead, they have been replaced by Rob Estes and Karima Westbrook, portraying the roles of Ken and Karen Scott. These shifted roles are likely due to the fan and critic input from the original film, but we can certainly hope that these changes are for the best, even though we all loved Peter and Jennifer in the first film. Since the release of After, critics have been outspoken against the film, with one critic going as far to say, After was an innocuous teen pulp soap opera that flirts with danger, but keeps surprising you with how mild and safe and predictable it turned out to be. Ouch. Leave it to Owen Gleiberman, writer for Variety, to hit you where it hurts. Regardless of critical opinion on the original film, After went on to win several awards, both for its writing and its cast. It was a Teen Choice Award in 2019 for Choice Drama Movie, and even won the E! People's Choice Award for Drama Movie 2019. Yes, the original film could be a bit cheesy and predictable at times, but that's what we love about it. The film never takes itself too seriously, and the actors and writers seem to have been having a great time while writing. After is, overall, an extremely fun film that is packed with suspense, drama, and romance unlike any other film in recent years. We couldn't be more excited to see After We Collided. We just hope that the film can live up to the hype and be a success, considering the worldwide crisis that is going on right now. We know Anna Todd and all the actors involved have given this film their all, and we hope that circumstances out of their control don't cause this to be the final film in the series. Time will tell what the future holds for after, but we are extremely excited to see the film in early September.